So systems engineering is usually engaged uh, right in the beginning of any project. Uh, they'll be the ones that are going to take the requirements from the customer and break them up into uh, subsequent disciplines. Uh, they're going to do what they call decompose the requirements into lower level requirements. So it'll be like, well, we're going to, these will be power requirements and then we'll move this into uh, electrical requirements, we'll move this into performance requirements and then we'll move this into this. And then we'll continue dividing those up until we have lower level requirements that we can design to. Mechanical might come to you and say, well, our design, we're thinking of something like this. And you're like, well, that won't really work because the power requirement is this, and then you won't be able to get a cable through here, or, you know, that'll affect the RF uh, capability of it. So, you know, we're going to have to get to discussion with these two. Uh, but at the end of the day, you are the subject matter expert on that particular system, and you'll be responsible through its whole life cycle, really. You're going to be responsible for its... Uh, design, build, integration, test, and uh, uh, maintenance, you'll be involved in all of that.